Hey guys, welcome to my channel. We're going to jump right into this easy hat crochet tutorial. I'm going to be using this yarn from Yarn Inspirations. It is um, a one pound yarn and it is in the color gray. You can definitely use whatever yarn you have. I am doing, you know, whatever I have. I'm not going out to buy any additional yarn. I'm going to be using the N hook, size N, 10 millimeter. And of course, I'm going to need scissors. And guys, usually with this type of hat, people use the bulky yarn. And again, I'm trying to use up some of the yarn that I have at home. So I'm going to use the worsted weighted yarn. And to make it bulky, um, this is something that I always do. I am going to be pulling from both ends of the yarn. So that means instead of having one string of yarn, you're going to be working with two. Very simple, very easy. You're going to pull from the middle of the skein and also from around the skein. Okay guys, so let's just get started. We are going to do this with a magic ring. Magic rings can be tricky, so you may want to pause, rewind, and look at this a couple times. But I'm going to try to make it as simple as possible. What you're going to do is take the yarn and you're going to wrap it around your two fingers, your index and your middle finger. And you're going to wrap it around twice. You want to make sure you have the beginning part of the yarn wrapped around. Um, I don't know, just look. <laughs> it's probably easier to look than to explain it. So what you're going to do once you have two loops on your fingers, you're going to stick your needle through, your hook through, and pull through the yarn that's on the left. Okay, and you want to then hold everything into place because it can fall apart easily. So make sure that you hold everything in place and make sure that the tail is still visible. You don't want to lose the tail of the yarn. So what we're going to do here, we are going to chain two. Still holding on to your magic ring. You want to make sure that you keep that in place. And this hat is so simple, guys. We are just doing double crochets. That is the only stitch we are doing. Right now, this is what your yarn should look like. Make sure that your ring is visible and that the tail is still where it should be because that's why it's called magic. It's going to be important. We're going to need that tail out at the end. So to double crochet, you wrap the yarn over, put it through the loop, pull through, wrap the yarn over again and you're going to pull through two loops and then wrap the yarn over and pull through the other two okay let's try this again <laughs> wrap the yarn over put it through your ring pull through the loop yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through the other two wrap the yarn over into the ring pull through wrap the yarn over pull through the first two loops wrap the yarn over pull through the last two Yarn over into the ring, pull through, yarn over, pull through first two, yarn over, pull through second two. And guys, you're going to need a total of eight to complete this first um, round. Again, slow it down because I'm really working in real time. This hat literally takes me about 30 minutes to make. I know everyone is not on the same um, level. Um, so just make sure that you take your time. Make sure that you keep your yarn straight so that everything works out perfectly. And you're going to need eight double crochets. So I'm just counting them, making sure. And once you have your eight, what you're going to do is take that tail end that's hanging out part of your ring, the magic ring, and you're going to tighten it. You're going to pull and you're going to tighten up and close up that ring so you will have a complete circle. And this is the top of your hat. So that way you don't have any gaps. You don't have to sew and you won't have to sew the hat up. So basically we are working from the top down with this hat. So once you get your ring closed up, you're going to slip stitch into that chain two that you did in the beginning, which means you push your hook through, wrap the yarn over and pull through to slip stitch. It's really simple. Now you have your round one, a total of eight double crochets. Okay guys, and to go on to the next round, you're going to chain two this is in between every round you're chaining two and this is our first round of increases so what we're going to do is put two double crochets into each 
stitch. So we have eight stitches. So we're going to now have 16 because we are double crocheting twice into each of those stitches we already made. So we're just going to go right back into that same loop and double crochet. So again, we're going to the next loop. I'm just going to try to explain to you. Um, we're going to double crochet once. And then we're going to go into that very same loop and double crochet again. And we're going to complete that all the way around. Okay guys, so now I'm at the end. I have 16 and what we're going to do is slip stitch. So you're going to insert your hook into that chain 2 that you created in the beginning and just slip stitch. And this is what you should be looking like now. Row 2 is 16 stitches. So for the next round, we are going to chain 2 again. And this time we are still increasing, but our increase will go... As such, we're going to go to the very next stitch and we are going to double crochet twice in that next stitch. And now we move on to the next one and we're just going to double crochet once. So the pattern will be two double crochet, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. So we're just alternating. So right now, this is the single double crochet. And our next stitch will be a double double crochet. Now we're going back to the single. And then the next stitch, it will be a double. And that is what you're going to do the, for that entire round. Now we are at the end of round three and we're going to go ahead and slip stitch again into that chain two. And as you can see, our hat is increasing. Mine is already starting to form a little. If yours is still flat, don't worry. I tend to hold my um, yarn and hook very tight. Um, so for chain, for round four, excuse me, we're going to chain two. And this increase, we're going to go right into the next loop. And we're going to double crochet in there twice. Next, single double crochet. And for the next one, another single double crochet. So our pattern on round four is two double crochet, one single, one single. So again, to make it a little easier, it's two, one, one, two, one, one. I'm going to make sure to put the pattern in the description box to kind of help you guys follow along. But it's relatively very simple and easy. And hopefully I'm ex explaining it well um, for you guys. Because I'm still pretty new to the whole crocheting and explaining and recording thing. So I'm trying to get better with each video. So hopefully I am doing that. <laughs> And guys, round four is really our only, or should I say our last round of increases. So it's going to be so easy from here on and you won't even really have to think much. So at this point, I'm at the end of round four. I'm getting ready to slip stitch into that chain two and we're going to proceed. So now at this point, your hat should start to curl a little. And for round five through round nine, 
you are going to just double crochet in each um, stitch. So I'm going to chain two. And remember you start each row with a chain two. And then I'm going to just double crochet into each stitch. So that means we're still going to have a count of 32 all the way around. Okay, for the round five, I just wanted to show you guys again. You just slip stitch into that chain two, and then you are going to go to the next row by chaining up two. So everything is going to just remain the same. You're going to chain up the two and continue to double crochet into each stitch around. Okay guys, so I am done um, pretty much. I just have a couple more stitches to go into. I wanted to show you how I'm going to finish off the hat. I did a total of 12 rows. Now listen, um, normally it's 10. This is how you're going to fit the hat to your desired um, length. The more rows that you crochet, the more slouchy your hat is going to be. But I would not suggest going over um, 14 rows at all. I'm at 12 right now because I wanted a little bit more of a slouch and I don't have like an average size head so I wanted to make sure that it would be slouchy enough for my head so just you know base it off of that um, to finish up your final row you're going to just continue double crocheting around and you're going to do like we always do slip stitch into that chain too when you get to that point Okay, so we're going to slip stitch and to finish off the hat, um, I'm just making sure that everything is lining up right. We're just going to chain one and we are just going to single crochet all the way around. Okay, so to single crochet, you're going to insert your hook, wrap the yarn over, pull through, wrap the yarn over and pull through the two loops. Insert your hook, pull through, wrap the yarn over, pull through two. And you're going to do that all the way around. All right, guys, so getting ready to come to the end of that I'm getting ready to slip stitch but you want to make sure um, that you get that needle in because it's going to get a little tight at this point and you're going to pull through to slip stitch and pull up on your yarn so you want to cut off the excess yarn leaving a little bit of a tail just to be sure pull that yarn all the way through and I am just making sure that I'm going to tighten it off but I don't want it to be, you know, pulling. So, what I'm going to do is just tie a knot in it. And I'm going to then secure the knot. And basically, guys, if you wanted to, this could pretty much be it. You could go ahead and cut it off. But I want to make it extra secure. I'm going to just weave my tail in a little bit before I cut it off. So just in case something happens or if it begins to unravel, which I've never had that issue with any of my projects, but I just want to be safe because, you know, although this only took me 30 minutes, it's still time. It's still effort and you don't want that to be wasted. So once you weave in both sides, you tie them off and then you cut them. You will also have um, yarn hanging at the top of the hat. You just easily cut that off. That is where you first started with your chain. And now you flip the hat. This is now your outside. And voila, you guys are all done. This is so easy, so cute. 
very um, easy gift for this time of the year, for Christmas, um, for the winter, whatever you want to do. It's really nice for friends and family. And this is the finished product. And hopefully you guys really enjoyed this video and it was easy enough for you to follow. If so, make sure that you thumbs up. Leave me a comment below if you'd like to. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Be blessed and most importantly, be a blessing. Don't forget the thumbs up, guys. Smooches.